Hey, today we're going to talk about the Steel 4Mix technology and what benefits it has for you, your property, or your business. This is something cool that's been out for a long time, for roughly 20 years. Steel has had 4Mix technology. Many of you have used it in their string trimmers or in their blowers. And I want to just open it up a little bit and explain what it is and why it matters. So 20 years ago or so, we were starting to get pressure. This industry was starting to feel pressure from, from the EPA. Clean it up, you're dirty, you're polluting. Respect, right? We don't need all that smog. We don't want the, uh, the smog hanging over the city. But we also don't want to have machines that don't have power or weigh a lot. So, so steel push for this four mix technology. It's, it's really cool. But before I get into that, let's look at a traditional two cycle engine. So, so right here I have a 25 cc two cycle engine. And what we have on a two cycle and how they work is, is as the piston is coming down, it is drawing in the fuel, and it is, as it is going up, it is pushing the exhaust out, okay? Coming down, fuel is being sucked in. That's called a power stroke, so is it pushing the power, and as it comes up, it's compressing the gas that is in the cylinder and pushing out the exhaust at the same time. Here's the problem. Roughly 30% of the exhaust coming out of the muffler was unburned fuel air mixture. And that was causing a, a lot of pollution, right? Uh, it was also wasting a lot of fuel and making them really stinky. So we've got this technology called Formix. And what that does is it combines the advantages of a two cycle. Let's back up. What are the advantages of a two cycle engine? Well, they're lightweight. They rev like crazy. They don't have the maintenance of a traditional four stroke because I'm not changing the oil. They can run in any position, okay, because I don't have a crankcase down below. They have less moving parts. We don't have an oil pump, and we don't have so. So there's advantages to a two cycle, by all means. But there were disadvantages. They were dirty. They were loud. The rope pulled over fairly hard because of the compression that they had. So along comes this idea of a four mix, which brought them into the arena four cycle technology. Okay, so advantage of a four cycle. Uh, they've got a lot of torque, right? They're more fuel efficient because I'm not having that, that loss of fuel out of the exhaust. Um, they're quieter. They're generally quieter. And they pull over easier. So there's some big advantages to the four cycle. There's also big advantages to the two cycle. How do we marry those together? Well, we get the four mix. And what this does is it uses a four cycle top end, meaning I have valves, but no crankcase. And when I say crankcase, that's what holds the oil on a four cycle engine. It'd be on the bottom here and I pour in my oil, two, four, six, eight, 32 ounces of oil, depending on the engine size or six quarts of oil, depending if it's in my car, right? So I'm gonna pour the, the oil in and I'm gonna run that machine 30, 40, 50 hours and then I'm gonna be due for an oil change. Okay, but on the four mix, no crankcase. All of my lubrication is coming through my mixed fuel, right? I dump one bottle in this gallon gas can. Remember that's ethanol free, right? It's fresh, we wanna go through our gas pretty fast. So here's what we get, a four mix engine. As the piston is going up, the compression stroke, it's actually closed on both valves. As it's coming down, what happens is the intake valve opens up and draws the fuel in. And then when it hits the bottom, that intake valve closes, it comes up again, compression stroke, boom, fire, power. As it comes down, the valves are closed. And as it pushes up again, the exhaust valve opens up and allows the exhaust out. So it's clean. We don't have a crankcase. So we keep it light. We keep the maintenance low. It also, though, increased the torque. Let me tell you, the torque of this engine compared to a normal two-stroke engine is huge. It can run upside down, right? I can't take my Honda lawnmower and run it upside down. That A, wouldn't be safe, and B, it wouldn't last very long. So don't try. So the 4Mix engine, we see this engine on the KM91, the KM111, the KM131, we also see it on the trimmer counterpart, the FS series. And we see it on 
several of the backpack blowers. You see it on the BR600, BR700, BR800. Much easier to pull, quieter on the ears, a lot more torque. We're able to push more power out of that engine, low grunt torque. We don't bog down. We keep EPA happy. We don't have the smog hanging out over us, so it's clean, it's fuel efficient, it's powerful, it's torquey, it's quiet, it starts easier. Hey, check out the Formix series of engines featured on many of the steel products that Carl's Miller and Saw. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Miller and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.